Nearly 100,000 people will be in town for this weekend's Notre Dame football game, and among them, wounded warriors who have gathered here every year for more than a decade. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw is here. So, Zach, what is this Wounded Warrior Project? It's a non for profit organization that serves veterans who have been injured since 9 11. Roughly 30 wounded warriors from our area and around the state are gathering together, and it's a special weekend that makes a big difference. One. There's a new street downtown, Wounded Warrior Way, dedicated for the injured veterans in town this weekend. Get them up here is where they can relax, where they don't have to worry about anything. We provide everything for them from transportation to food to adult beverages. Ed Meyer is a captain with the South Bend Fire Department. They're the ones hosting the veterans at Central Fire Station. People that have made huge sacrifices come together from two different fields and and they bond. Mitch Nyhart of Elkhart has spent a lifetime in the military and during his second tour in Iraq was injured by an improvised explosive device. I have a traumatic brain injury from it and I have some PTSD. I suffered a lot of confusion after I got back to the States trying to learn how to talk and walk and and type and understand things because of the brain injury. The VA says 22 veterans commit suicide every day. Nyhart says he was battling depression and could have been part of that statistic if it weren't for the organization. The Wounded Warrior Project was there, held my hand, coached me through everything, and um, I'm alive today because they were at my bedside. This weekend, the veterans will share stories and make new friends who share a unique bond. It's essential for, uh, for rehabilitation in so many different ways. And the South Bend Fire Department plans on driving down Wounded Warrior Way for many years to come. They went over there to risk their life, and some of them have lost limbs and lost other things to protect our freedom. I feel we need to thank them for that. Right now, the group is at the Notre Dame pep rally. Tomorrow, they have a police escort to the game, and they'll be tailgating west of the linebacker if you want to stop by and say hi or thank you. And they would like that, I'm sure. And their tailgates are pretty special, too. Yeah, that's right. Not only will the Elkhart Fire Department be there grilling out food, which is all donated, but firefighters from New York City will also be in town. And I'm told David Robinson, the admiral, usually stops by their tailgate, and they've received autographed footballs from visiting coaches in the past, like Jim Harbaugh when yeah. he was at Stanford. So certainly a very memorable weekend for those wounded warriors and uh, definitely something they deserve after serving our country. It sure is. Zach, thank you very much.